Cryptocurrencies in recent years have been seen to be the ultimate lottery ticket. Why I'm interested in cryptocurrency is not because I wish I had a secret stash of 100 bitcoins, but because when researching into cryptocurrency, I found that there were certain stereotypes towards it, such as it being an illegal banking system. However, once I started researching further into what a cryptocurrency was, I found that it did have features which I was able to understand and relate to my life. Cryptocurrencies can often be found to be answered in a sentence, but in reality requires much more dedication to be able to completely understand it, which not even I have been able to achieve. So what even is a cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency. In simple terms, a cryptocurrency is a new form of a coin. It has the ability to transfer money quick and efficiently without any government control, which is why it seems so attractive to so many people. It also has, each owner of a cryptocurrency also has their own crypto wallet. This means that people will be able to make their own private transactions. It is also, again, not controlled by the government. As well as cryptocurrencies having certain features, which when we understand, we are able to learn to accept the possibilities of it becoming the new world currency. So what could the new currency be? What makes a successful currency? A successful currency must be accessible to anyone who wishes to use it. It needs to have a relatively consistent value in its worth, giving the shareholders and owners the stability they need to be able to make the financial transactions and loans and purchases. So, could cryptocurrencies be the new currencies? More and more people are starting to become convinced of the fact that something such as Bitcoin could be the new way of payment. Bitcoin may be a term we may be familiar with when either hearing parents or news articles discussing its dramatic drops in its worth. But is Bitcoin even that great? No, it's that simple to answer. It was created a long time ago, around 2008, meaning its database is extremely outdated and would be inefficient to ever be used as a world currency, therefore essentially making it a gambling coin. This is where many of the stereotypes come from, such as it being an illegal banking system or being a coin for gamers sitting in front of their computers all day. So what could the new currency be? Dogecoin was admittedly created as a joke by Jackson Palmer, around 2013. It was launched to make fun of the speculation surrounding cryptocurrencies. It is primarily a copy of a copy, so why even bother talking about it? Well, in March 2021, it was valued at 0.039 GDP. It had a 14,000 percentage increase overnight. Let's say we invested 100 pounds. This would have turned into 37,000. So how is it possible that a copy of Bitcoin was able to have become one of the highest valued cryptocurrencies overnight? Memes. Elon, Musk's in, in, in Elon Musk in a Twitter post stated that SpaceX is going to put a literal Dogecoin on the literal moon. Dogecoin is a very good example of how easily people nowadays are influenced by social media and something due to pure hype. So what influenced everyone to suddenly change their minds? Media. People nowadays are, media is something powerful, which is why we are so easy, easily influenced by other people's opinions. For example, why are you wearing that jumper today? Probably because you saw your friend wear it you probably saw someone advertising. People nowadays are able to create media personalities which allow companies to target our interests and target our interests in the advertisements and posts we see every day. Influencing why we buy the things we do. A perfect example of this is the infamous Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, which most of us most likely own. So, what is the future of cryptocurrency? Well, I and many others believe that it is just the glimpse of what is to come. It is mostly likely not going to be the new way, the new currency, but it can be seen as a sign of what currencies will evolve to become. Most people aren't even aware or interested in the fact that something like cryptocurrencies exist, but 
Whether we are aware or not, it's already finding its way into the world we live in, showing the potential it holds to becoming the new way of payment. Why this is, is because people are attracted to efficiency and making our lives as easy as possible. This is why we have phones, cars, and planes, requiring us to do basically nothing but click and pay buttons. Which is why people who are interested in cryptocurrency are often fascinated by the quick actions which it possesses, such as well as the modern and advanced technology presented within the database. Milton Friedman, who you may be familiar with if you study economics, famously said, I think that the internet is going to be one of those major forces for reducing the role of the government, the one thing that is missing. So what do, do people value in life that incentivizes them to invest into cryptocurrency? Humans mostly find value in the things which give us the most freedom, which is why cryptocurrency is seen to be so sought after. It allows payments to be faster and more efficient without having to go through the normal stages of sending money back and forth, as well as cryptocurrencies being decentralized from any government control. So there must be some risks to cryptocurrencies. Well, one of the main risks is that people could become over-reliant on a cryptocurrency. This could be seen as irresponsible due to it having unpredictable fluctuations in its worth. This could lead to be prices being rapidly violated, changing the prices in goods and services both posit positively and negatively. This means that people could easily fall into poverty and also quickly become richer, which damages any, econ any economy in any country. So what are the deeper meanings behind cryptocurrency? There may not be an inherent value found in any cryptocurrency, but an inherent value is also not to be seen to exist in any other currency. So why do we give a coin a value? Because it's a mutual societal agreement we have all come to, which gives items such as a coin or a diamond a value. This gives people another form of hope that something such as Bitcoin could be an acceptable and valued currency in the economy. So where does value come from? It comes from us. We have the, ability, we have the choice on the things we agree with, which inevitably gives us, the gives us the power to give anything a value. But cryptocurrencies still have many faults, making people see it as a coin for computer addicted people known as the modern day gold miners. This may have been the impression you walked into the room with today. But, however, knowing about the basic functions about cryptocurrency could help us in the future, as there is a very high likelihood that the technology which is presented will play an important role in the future. Whether or not it may be one of the wild famous coins such as Bitcoin or Dogecoin, it, the, as the technology mediate the technology presented within these cryptocurrencies will most likely mediate our everyday lives. It is already evaluating existing financial systems in ways to be improved. So even though cryptocurrency was created through a sense of hype, it has traits which will improve currencies to become more efficient in the future, which is why it's so important that we overcome stereotypes surrounding cryptocurrencies, currencies, stopping us from from exploring the technology presented within the cryptocurrencies. Thank you for listening.